So YouTube, this is one of those uh, videos that, that it's really, really hard to know where to start. There's so much confusion and so many misinterpretations of scripture and, and on and on and on. I mean, I'm going to recap something. Um, Justice Fighter pointed out the other day that Clack and uh, Spear, um, Spear being Clack's right-hand man apparently and the guy in Colorado that's dealing with the containers and everything, um, Justice Fighter went around the mountain with Spear and um, she made a comment that said specific example in reference to uh, you know Clack saying bad things and being disrespectful for, towards females. He said, specific example, at 2 hours and 22 minutes, he states, the dragon is female energy. Statements like this saturate the video and other videos of his and always struck me as odd. The main focus of, the main focus on his female energy being deviant and of Satan is unrelenting. And then, you know, basically, Spears fires back at her and says, you're an angel, the flesh is nothing, the flesh is evil. Um, further he says, uh, what did Jesus say? Female rival, queen of heaven, it is what it is because Jesus, the everlasting father, spoke it. So it looks like your issue is with L. You are not a female, you are not male, you are a fallen angel. Utter insanity. Okay, and with that, I just want to point out that Genesis 126 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And so with that, Clack and or Spears is smoking crack because, you know, this is what Clack teaches. And Spears backing them up. So they both uh, need to go into rehab or something. Okay, and here's another comment that I just got today. Uh, Justice Fighter said that uh, he said that the Holy Mary Mother of Jesus was a devil bug locust shame on him defiling what is holy now justice fighter she's not catholic and she's not um you know worshiping mary you know, queen of heaven style or anything like that but but we all should have respect for mary i mean the one that found favor with god my reply was what you mean the same one that found favor with god total insanity then justice fighter replies yeah he said just flip her upside down and look you have a bug logic of the insane that is replied you know that's about as sick and demented as it possibly can get to say such a thing about Mary I can't even imagine standing before God having to explain that not so little comment Click will be held accountable okay then she goes further and she shares a comment that she posted that was removed I went through and looked for this comment and I couldn't find it so she has copied and pasted it here you guys know my eyes give me a lot of trouble so I'm gonna have to have my computer read this so hang in there and um, we'll give this a go here at 75 colon 19 you did finally start to tell the story of Gideon defeating the Midianites but before that you mostly described your experience in the alley as being the same as when Gideon spoke to an angel and then came to the realization that he himself was an angel. 56 colon 55 you said, so even Gideon had his moment where he went, oh my gosh I'm an angel. But this is not scriptural, that is not what happened, at 70 colon 05 you say, so just like Gideon, Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord. Thank you Michael, Michael and I were looking this up, the Lord told me to look this up before I did the video and so I perceived I was an angel of the Lord the night I got saved, because Michael, an angel, stepped up and said, pray with me my brother. Jonathan, why would the Father tell you to look up specific scriptures concerning one of his angels, and then have you interpret it to mean something completely different than how it was written in the Bible? Since I know that the Father is not deceptive, that just leaves you. If this is what he told you to say, I'm sure he also would have revealed to you, 
the exact same premise of the story found in Judges 13,15-23. That way you could use it as another example, of when we suddenly realize we are angels, like the way it happened for you? But again, I know that the Father would not tell you to twist scripture in order to convey a certain message. I repeat, the Father is not deceptive, so that only leaves you suspect. Gideon did not suddenly realize that he himself was an angel, just like you did. That is nowhere close to the true meaning of those verses. Would you care to clarify exactly how you arrived at this determination? Please address this to your viewers. Okay, excellent comment. So now, <clears throat> I could not find her post. I think she's right. But I did find one very, very similar. And she said that she goes further later. And she says that uh, she had actually posted this earlier. And um, that you know, this is basically a duplicate of what she had posted. Okay, so what's going on here is, is Cleck has taken a, a crazy liberty with the tech. He's trying to say Gideon realized that he was an angel, and it's not at all what Gideon said. All he was trying to do is verify that the angel that was talking to him was an angel. Okay, so this is proven that Jonathan doesn't even have the uh, ability to interpret scripture correctly, much less be a prophet. I mean, how, what kind of prophet can even uh, interpret scripture? Here we go. Stick with me, folks. Regarding Judges 6 colon 15 dash 22 I'm still looking for your comment, there are over 500 to go through, but I found this one from John Baptist, three days ago. I think you will find it interesting, and I quote, correct. Jonathan needs to be careful where he's getting his information from and check the context in which the verse is used. Gideon was merely testing the angel by preparing a gift for the angel. He asked the angel to show him a sign that he is an angel of the Lord. When the angel used the staff in his hand to bring fire from the rock and consume the gift then Gideon perceived that the person he was talking to was indeed an angel of the Lord. This Lord had just told Gideon that he would lead the charge against unbelievable numbers of Midianites and Gideon needed to know for sure who was telling him to do this. 15 And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. 16 And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. 17 And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then shew me a sign that thou talkest with me. 18 Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come unto thee, and bring forth my present, and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. 19 And Gideon went in, and made ready a kid, and unleavened cakes of an ephah of flour, the flesh he put in a basket, and he put the broth in a pot and brought it out unto him under the oak, and presented it. Twenty and the angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and lay them upon this rock, and pour out the broth. And he did so. Twenty one then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and there rose up fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. 22 And when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God! For because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And then Gideon did what the Lord told him to do and defeated them with help from the Lord. End of quote, and that said, yeah, it looks like Clack got busted, as Gideon was only trying to confirm that the angel of the Lord was indeed an angel from the Lord. Gideon never thought that he himself was an angel of the Lord. Day. The lengths these false prophets will go to try and prove their false doctrine is simply amazing. Okay, so there we go. I mean, he, he's trying to put words in Gideon's mouth, trying to claim that Gideon realized that he was an angel. That's not the case. What the scripture says, that Gideon realized that the guy he was talking to was an angel. Big difference. And, and Cleck's trying to twist that to, in order to justify, you know, Cleck believing he's an angel. So... With that, I'm going to pause.